one of our agents in our Allentown marketing facility came in the other day and he said, Lauren, we've got a real problem. Home sales are down by 25%. We're not able to get rid of inventory. What are we going to do about it? I said, that's not a problem. If 25% of the homes aren't selling, we'll concentrate on the 75% that are. I joke, but I want to be clear. I understand there are some significant challenges in the marketplace right now. There are some problems out there. I sell real estate. I'm not just an author and a trainer and a speaker. I'm a successful realtor like many of you. Right now, is it fair to say that there are many home sellers in the marketplace that are unrealistic in their expectations of what they can get for their homes? Is that fair to say? Is it also fair to say that there are many buyers in the marketplace right now that feel they can offer half and the seller should just give them the house because they'll be so happy to get rid of it. Is that fair to say? But the truth is that there are homes selling every single week in every marketplace in every corner of this country. In order to keep our income stable or even to raise our incomes, we need to change our way of thinking and to build a system to create a consistent steady stream of clients into our funnels. Let me start with a story. It was February many years ago, probably around the 10th or the 11th, just before Valentine's Day, and I didn't have a date for Valentine's Day. I know, I know. How could that possibly be? I mean, I was younger, I was successful, I weighed a lot less. I was good looking. Okay, I wasn't good looking, but I had a hot car. So I went to the local flower shop and I asked him if I could still get a dozen roses delivered before Valentine's Day, and the store clerk said, no problem. Where do you want them sent to? I said, I'd like, one rose each sent to these 12 young ladies. And he said, you're kidding, right? I wasn't, that's called prospecting. Find a target audience and find a creative way to let them know that you have something to offer them. It's called prospecting. Several years later, I was at a party. It was a pool party. I met a young woman named Teresa who I eventually married. She was in, wearing a really hot bikini, so I decided I had to meet her. I know I'm a pig. I introduced myself and she told me she was actually taking some real estate classes. That was a bonus. She was a bright middle manager at a company and she wanted to branch out. So I naturally asked her out and she said, no, I just broke up with someone and I'm not interested in any sort of relationship right now. Later on, I found out what she was really thinking was, I can't believe you wore that to a pool party. What a geek. Anyway, I had found out where she worked and the next day I sent her flowers. She called and she said, thank you for the flowers, they're beautiful. But honestly, no, I'm not interested. So the next day, I sent her flowers again. She called a second time and she said, no means no. I'm sorry, but I'm really not interested. So the third day, yeah, that's right, I sent her flowers again. She called and said, do I need to file a PFA because I consider this stalking? I said, well, you're planning on getting into the real estate industry. I don't know who you're planning on affiliating with, but whoever it is, it's a mistake. I think our firm has more to offer, and I'd like to at least spend a few moments with you and show you what we can offer that I think is a little better than what everybody else has. Would that be acceptable? Nothing, no personal talk at all, just business. She said, that's fine. I said, why don't we discuss it over dinner? I'll pick you up at six. That's called follow-up, and it's often the most critical component of any marketing program. What we're going to do today is to build a foundation for your business by discovering some ways we can attract people who want to buy and sell through some unique prospecting methods. And then we're going to work on developing a systematic follow-up process to grow your individual businesses. Does that sound like a good plan?